Good evening, everyone. Mr. Clark has given me the thumbs up, so I think that means we can, we can kick off. It's just past six o'clock. I'm not offended at all that you've chosen to sit far away. Not offended at all. It's fine. Good evening and, and, and welcome. It's lovely to see you here. Thank you for uh, being here tonight for the curriculum information evening for students moving into years eight, nine and ten for 2024. We acknowledge that our creator God first gave these lands to the Kumbumeri people of the Yugambe language region. We respectfully acknowledge them as the traditional custodians of the land on which we are meeting tonight and pay our respect to their elders past, present and emerging as they hold the memories, traditions, culture and hopes of our indigenous people. Tonight provides you with important information about making subject selections for 2024. And then there will be time to talk with our heads of learning about our subject offerings. This year, we have also organized a careers expo operating on level one of the senior learning precinct, where you might like to think ahead and connect with some tertiary providers for some more information. I'd now like to invite our head of teaching and learning, Mrs. Ellie Wood, to the stage to explain our curriculum structure for next year for eight, nine and 10. Thank you. Um, I will just clarify, we've had a late change in the Careers Expo. That's starting at 7.30. So if you head up and speak to our heads of learning and then come down to the Careers Expo if you're interested in, in thinking ahead for your um, future plans. So my main role tonight is to run you through the curriculum structure for each of the year levels that you're here to represent and to talk you through our subject selection process. We'll also talk about um, what it means to make good choices about your range of subjects and, and tell you about how we're gonna support you along the way to do that. Um, I hope that you've all had a chance to look at our curric subject selection curriculum handbooks. There's been some questions about where they are located. So this, the letters that we sent home to you about tonight had links in them that went directly to those curriculum handbooks. They are also on the current year level page uh, for which you're attending. So if you are in year seven, the curriculum handbook is on the year seven year level page on my Unity, and it will have a banner above it that says 2024 subject selection. That's where you go to have a look at more information about the subjects that you see on the slide above me. In year eight, our subject, um, our curriculum structure is that our students study seven core subjects, which you can see uh, on the slide above behind me. And they also, one of those core subjects is a language. That language is the language that you selected in year seven. So it was a two year course for you. If you selected Japanese this year, you'll continue on with Japanese through to year eight. Our elective subjects are um, year long course. And we ask that our students moving into year eight choose two elective subjects. Those elective subjects appear twice per week in the timetable. So you'll have that, um, that elective subject four times across the cycle. In year nine, our students will study six core subjects, which you can see in the slide behind me. Um, of note is that our year nine students no longer study a language uh, as a core subject, apologies, as a core subject. So our year nine students are welcome to choose a language as one of their elective courses. And we ask that our year nine students choose three elective subjects, which again will appear four times per cycle in the, um, in the timetable, our cycle being 10 days. The, the in year nine, the, sub, um, the languages offered are Chinese, Ger Japanese, and German. In year 10, there's a little bit more choice involved and that's why it's really important tonight to talk to your heads of learning that are up in our senior learning precinct to get a better understanding of what uh, the differentiation of our core subjects are. Um, just pausing here, if you're at the door, there's plenty of seats, come down, you're welcome to come and, and pick a seat. So all of our students study Christian studies and in year 10, Christian studies is a QCAA applied subject called religion and ethics. That course is, it spans over three years. So all of our students study religion and ethics from year 10, 11 and 12. Uh, and that being a QCAA subject allows our students to start to accumulate credits for their QCE once they enter into year 11 and 12. Religion and ethics attracts four core credits towards their QCA, QCE, which they'll achieve by the time they finish year 12. 
Um, our students will have a choice in their English core grouping. They can choose general English, essential English or literature. You cannot do English and literature at this point in time. Um, considering maths, our students need to be able to choose a subject that best suits their ability and our teaching team and our, heads of, our head of learning for mathematics will be able to help you with that decision as well. So our choices for mathematics include general mathematics, essential mathematics and mathematical methods. We also uh, give our students options within science. So those students who, are, who know that they want to choose a science subject in year 11 and 12 are catered for in senior science prep. And this is a course that will allow our students to experience all four science subjects by the time they finish the course so that they are well prepared to choose a science as they move into year 11. If there are students in our cohort in year 10 who know that they were definitely not going to choose a science for uh, year 11 and 12, we have a course called um, Essential Science, which would, uh, would cater for those students. So the national curriculum requires students to study science through to year 10. Our Essential Science course caters for those students who no longer wish to study a science once they get into year 11 and 12. We also uh, differentiate in the HPE curriculum. So in year 10, there's still some requirements for students to study uh, some form of HPE. So we have a health and ha physical education course or a physical education course that our students can choose. Um, our year nine teaching teams would have started conversations around the differences amongst those core courses, but please do talk with our heads of learning today. It is important that you are able to choose the right core subject for you. Um, and, and being armed with knowledge before you do that is a really, really good tool. Um, I want to re-emphasise the difference between essential science and senior science prep. Last year we had a lot of students pick essential science thinking it was the science that they needed to do because they wanted to do a science in year 11 and 12. Please be aware that senior science prep is the science that you do if you are thinking about doing science in year 11 and 12 or even if you're thinking you're not quite sure. Please check choose senior science prep. If you know you definitely never want to sci study science again, essential science is the one for you. Uh, elective courses in year 10, we ask our students to choose three of those and um, the frequency is up to three periods per week, so six across the cycle. You'll notice that our elective courses are designed to prepare our students to move into senior courses once they get to year 11 and 12. The subject lines, so this, this advice is applicable to everybody in the room of how our subject lines are developed. Our subject lines are de de developed from the preferences students submit using a best fit model. This is why it's important for students and families to make informed decisions about the subjects you select and the order of the preferences that you enter into the form. Uh, these lines uh, change year to year to accommodate for student preferences. Therefore, it's the students that choose the lines, not us. When submitting your preferences, students will identify six individual subjects that they wish to study. There can't be any duplication of subjects. So you must identify six individual subjects that you would want to study in order of preference. It's possible, using the best fit model, it is possible that you would be allocated preference six in that list. So please pick or please select six subjects that you definitely wouldn't mind studying for one whole year. Um, we have had some situations in the past where somebody's just thrown drama in, for example, not, not to throw shade on drama because I love it, um, but thrown drama in as, as option six because they couldn't think of anything else and were allocated drama and then said, but I don't like drama. So please make sure that those six selections are courses that you do want to study for the year. Uh, again, please speak with our Heads of Learning tonight to learn more about our subject offerings and the differences amongst those courses that you see there. Unfortunately, some of our courses have a maximum class size for safety reasons. These include food technology, visual art, design technology. Um, due to safety reasons, we're unable to take more, class, more students in the classes once the cap is reached. We do have a system for allocating students into those classes and that includes some, some of the things that we take into consideration are the, um, the, the order with which those preferences came in, but also there's, there's a, quite a number of other factors that we take into consideration if that class size is maxed out. If the class is oversubscribed, um, we'll work with students to, to form another choice should that 
be the case. Now, on to choosing subjects. It is really vitally important that you choose subjects that you enjoy. We want you to be at Trinity to enjoy your time and to be engaged and motivated by the courses that you choose. We don't want you to choose a course because you think you should take it. We don't want you to choose a course because somebody told you um, you should do that. We want you to choose something that you're good at, something that you enjoy, something that you're motivated by, um, and perhaps think about a balanced spread of subject choices. You might like to consider, particularly if you're in year 10 and you know what you want to do, you might want to consider picking those subjects that will set you up for a good pathway into year 11. However, I want to stress this, it's really important. It is okay if you don't know what you want to do in year 11 or even what you want to do when you are a grown up. That is completely okay. We offer subjects, and I'll just go back, our range of subjects is something I'm really proud of at Trinity, is that we offer subjects across all KLA learning groups that allow students to be able to pick subjects that suit them. So please do not be discouraged if you don't know what you want to do. Pick a subject that's going to work for you. Don't pick a subject that all your friends are doing. Do pick a subject that you um, that will be happy with for the year. Um, the subject selection process is a, a number of steps and important steps for you to understand. So we have elapsed step one so far. We've sent out all of that communication. You've hopefully had a look at it and you're here tonight to get a little bit of more information. So we're currently at step two of the process. Now we believe that students were sent out their access login details to select my subjects this afternoon. Selectmysubjects.com should have sent you an email with those login details. Some parents would have received that information as well this afternoon. It's on a rollout process and the, the entirety of our parent population will receive that information by tomorrow. Um, what will happen is that on Monday 24th, at 6 p.m., that system will open to allow you to enter those six preferences. It will remain open until July 31st at midday. In that time, you need to select six subjects for your elective courses and the, the subjects that you want to do for your core classes if you're in your, moving into year 10. You need to have done that all by Monday, 31st of July, by midday. Um, I'll remind you again about our principle of best fit. Students' preferences are what create our lines. There is no step where lines are published to you and you select from those lines. Your preferences make our lines under the model of best fit. So the allocations, sorry, the preferences that you put in are how those choices are determined. And we aim to get 100% strike rate with that. It's what we aim for. There will be exceptions to that. So if a student has not entered their preferences by midday on July 31st, we need to call that student out of class based on our timing. We will need to call them out of class and ask them to make a selection with us um, on the day. We won't have time to call you as a family to discuss those choices and so we ask that you use the time that you have between now and July 31st to have those conversations about the courses that your, student, your child will be taking. In closing, I ask that you look at those subject selections really closely um, and contact our staff if you have any questions. There is no silly question when you're selecting your subject, so please just ask any of the staff that are available today or feel welcome to flick me an email if you need to. Remember to enter your final selections by um, July 31st and those selections will open on Monday, July 24. We look forward to working with you and your child to make informed decisions about the subject selections. Thank you for joining us tonight. I invite you now to join our Heads of Learning on Level 2 of our Senior Learning Precinct and remind you that that Careers Expo will start at 7.30 if you choose to stay around. We have a, a floor plan for you to show you where the subject uh, Heads of Learning will be. There are maps up in the uh, Senior Learning Precinct for you to refer to as well. Thank you very much for joining us. Our senior learning precinct is straight up the hill, up the pathway there. You'll see a big glorious building waiting for your arrival. Level two, straight up the stairs. We do have lift access as well if you need it. Thank you.